Hey guys, it's March Madness. I'm gonna do some Philly cheesesteaks. I'm here with my best wood slicer and I am going to get this going. We're gonna slice three onions and I am going to start it very carefully because these are a little dangerous. So we've got slices about this thin. Can you see it? So we're gonna slice up three onions. See how easy this is? Not only can you slice up the onions like this, wait till we slip, start slicing up the meat. Now I've already got the cheese sliced up, which is wonderful. I'm gonna turn this off and stop the video, and then I'll be back. Okay, check this out. Easy peasy on the sliced onions. This is about two and a half onions right here. I always try to make sure I have easy cleanup, and so I use a piece, a large piece of butcher block paper underneath, butcher paper rather, underneath my best wood. That makes, that definitely helps clean up. Now this is where it gets a little messy with the splattering of the meat. My meat is really semi-frozen and what I want to do is keep it that way when I, I go to do this because it makes the, the uh, cutting easier. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna dial up and make the meat slices a bit thicker. So here we go. Okay, let me stop it here for a second. You always have to be very careful. This is about how thick the meat slices are. It's very, very thin. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this meat up here. We've got a pound and a half. I'll stop the video and then I'll be back when it's, when it's done. We're almost finished here, but I do have to tell you every time I do this, I have a very close friend. Her name is Cece the dog, and she's always under my feet when I'm doing this. Every time I, I move the meat or change it around, I always stop it, let the blade stop. It is important that you follow safety precautions on this because that blade is very sharp and it could definitely take a cut out of your hands. I also have some special gloves that I use that are almost like chain mail, basically, and uh, they really make a difference and it, you will still be cut, but it does help. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and finish slicing this meat up. I'll be back. So there we go, pound and a half of meat, very thinly sliced, and I had it on uh, one and a half to get this slice. This is the slice I like to use for my Chinese food too. So anyway, this is how you use it. You slice up cheese, you slice up your onions, and you slice up your meat, and then you're good to go. You can also do several other types of things on here. I buy the large turkey breasts, boneless, skinless. I smoke them and then slice it on here. The slices can be done relatively thickly, but it's consistent, and that's what's nice about it. So anyway, this is slicing up meat and uh, onions and cheese for um, a Philly cheesesteak. You can find the recipe for Philly cheesesteak on my food blog at uh, www.cabeuser.wordpress.com. Thanks for stopping in.